neck reflex, we would expect to find in the lower body and in the upper body what? What would we expect to find in the lower body? If we turn his head to the left, what would we expect to find? Okay, so everybody stand up. Turn your head to the left. I'm going to turn mine to the right, which is the same direction. You're going to go toward the windows. Turn your head to the left and extend your, right, your left upper extremity and flex your left upper extremity. Nah. Right. Extend your left upper extremity and flex your right upper extremity and close your hand on the, on the right side. Close your hand on the flexed side. That is a normal response. Your finger should be extended on the, ex on the extensor side and your finger should be flexed on the flexor side. This is the normal response. Turn, opposite. You're, there you go, that's correct. Close, and close your right hand, there you go. Is everybody in this position? I'm your mirror, so if you're not in this position, change how you're doing it, okay? That's normal. Turn your head, switch your arms. I'm kind of simple. I try and remember one thing. Here's my one thing that I remember. Turning the head to the left causes extension of the muscles on the side toward head rotation and flexion of the muscles on the side opposite head rotation. That's it. I remember the right because it's opposite the left. <laughs> Pretty easy. And the same thing happens in the lower body. Okay, so this is what they call a, a, an archer's posture or a fencer's posture. Okay, so go ahead and have a seat again. <clears throat> Here's what we would expect to find. Here's the rectus femoris test, knee straight, knee straight, hold strong. It's facilitated at the hip, hold strong, don't let me push. Facilitated at the hip, hold up here, don't let me pull. Flexor is facilitated at the shoulder. Those are neutral. Keep your elbow straight. Here's an extensor. Hold strong. Or an abductor. They go together. That was latissimus dorsi. Hold strong. Here's the gluteus medius. This is the middle fibers with the, with the toe straight up. So we have extensors on the upper and lower body and flexors on the upper and lower body. If he turns his head to the left, what should we expect to find in this rectus femoris? Hold strong. Facilitation or inhibition? We should find inhibition. The fibers turn on extensors on the side toward head rotation. Hold strong. That's a flexor. Hold up here, contralaterally, hold strong. What would we expect to find contralaterally? Flexion or, or uh, inhibition or facilitation? facilitation? We should have facilitation of that flexor. That's right. So head straight ahead again. Turn your head to the left. You only have a short period to do a tonic neck reflex. You would expect to find that facilitated or inhibited? Inhibited. Inhibited. Hold strong. Don't let me pull. You would expect to find that facilitated or inhibited? Facilitated. facilitated. That's exactly correct. Let's look at the extensors now. Head straight ahead. Turn your head to the left. Here's a gluteus medius, hold strong. What would we expect to find there? Facilitation. Facilitation, head straight ahead. Turn your head to the left again, hold strong. And what do we expect to find here? Turn your head the other way, hold strong, don't let me push. Is that correct? Everybody see that? Head to the right, hold strong. Is that correct? That's correct we should have facilitation of extensors on the side toward head rotation, which means inhibition contralaterally. So that inhibition is correct. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the right. Sorry. Hold strong. <laughs> Keep your elbow straight. Hold strong. Would we expect to find facilitation or inhibition? Hold strong. Facilitation ipsilaterally and inhibition contralaterally. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. Is that normal? Hold strong. Yeah, that's, normal. that's normal. This is an extensor, abductor, which should be facilitated on the side toward head rotation. <coughs> okay? Is there any questions on that? Yes? Yeah, press during the game. We could do the same thing standing. Stand up for me. So hold up this arm. Pectoralis major clavicular. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. 
What would we expect to find there? We should find inhibition, right? Hold strong. Turn your head to the right. Hold strong. What should we expect to find there? Inhibition. Keep your elbow locked straight. Don't let me pull. Turn your head to the right. Keep that locked. Hold strong. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. Good. Head straight. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. Turn your head to the right. Hold strong. Is that normal? It's not normal, is it? Let's try this. Put your hand on my back. Hmm? You might have a feet problem. Very good. Bring your knee up and let your foot hang. Just bend here. Yes, right there. Keep your leg there. Hold strong. That's a proximal rectus femoris test in the standing posture. Relax. Do this one. Let your foot hang 90 degrees here at the, at the knee. Hold strong. That's facilitated. Now, bring up your right knee and turn your head to the right. Hold strong. Relax. Head straight ahead. Bring up your left knee and turn your head to the right. Hold strong. Try again. Hold strong. Good. Bring it down. Bring up your left knee and turn your head to the left. Let your foot hang. Hold strong. Relax. Bring up your right. Relax. Bring up your right knee and keep your head to the left. Let your foot hang. Hold strong. So what do we see there? It's even worse. We see even worse. When <laughs> gravity has its way, we see even more breakdown. I have to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> have a seat. Can I ask a question? Sure. Just, just a second. Hold up your arm. Hold strong. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. Hold up this one. Turn your head to the right. Hold strong. Good. Sit back. Sit back there. There you go. Bring this knee up. Don't let me push. Hold this one. Turn your head to the right. Hold strong. Turn your head to the left. Hold strong. Keep your head there. Hold this one up. Hold strong. Turn your head the opposite way. Hold up. Don't let me push. What do we see there? We see a lot of breakdown, don't we? So where does that breakdown come from? The comment was it could be feet. Well, we took the feet out of the equation by having him sit. It could be a pelvic problem. But we had similar dysfunction when he was lying down face up, although there weren't as many dysfunctions. We might look at this person's pelvis and then relate it to upper body and fix whatever we're finding is a high priority and then come back and look at it again. Does this make sense? So you see, if you're not testing your patient standing, if you're not testing your patient seated, if you're only testing your patients in a horizontal posture, you miss a lot of good information. Right? Okay, so I want you to break up in, in groups and give these things a try and see what you find. This was a fun exercise, I think, because it's, it's one of the first primitive reflexes, besides the, tonic, besides the uh, deep tendon reflex, but it's kind of a, it's, it's a fun application of what do these muscles do? Um, what did you think about it? Did you, was, was that interesting? Did you see things that you didn't expect to find? I know one person said, this was mind-blowing to me. It told me that it was just, it was a reason for coming. It made a big difference. And that's very exciting to me because that's, that's, I love to hear that. I love to hear that because this, this is one of the funnest applications to be able to check a muscle and see when you turn the head, what happens? You never think about it. But if you get in your head, this is normal and this is pathological and always address it as pathological rather than I don't have time to deal with it, I'm gonna go on. You'll learn so much. So please stick with this, stick with it. So here's what we did. This is the posture that we did. Turning the head to the left causes extension of the upper extremity on the side toward head rotation and facilitation of the flexors on the side opposite head rotation, upper and lower body. That knee is actually flexed. That knee is actually flexed. Go to the internet, look up tonic neck reflex videos and watch what happens. It's amazing. They take on these postures. These newborn babies, they take it on. If you have a newborn at home, try it. 
I do it with my dog. It works. It works. All right. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're going to pick up where we left off. There's a lot more practical stuff tomorrow. A lot more. So I think it'll be a fun day for you. Uh, thank you for sitting through the, the academics. I know they can get sticky sometimes and boring. And Go through your notes. Learn this stuff. I, I think you'll really... Uh,